it is time for you to make huge changes in 2024 to put you ahead of 95% of the people out there and enable you to be a new person, a changed person by the end of the year. There are no courses that you can take, trainings that you can do, new experiences that are gonna be better than moving abroad in terms of having drastic, life-changing effects on your life. Now, don't keep scrolling if you're like, oh, I don't wanna hear about that. Hear me out as to the actual reasons why I think that this is one of the best things that you can do to change and improve your life. If you don't know us, we are a family of six that have moved from the US to New Zealand and we've been here for eight years and I've been sharing my experience <laughs> on this channel about that, so go ahead and watch that. Also, if you're thinking about moving to New Zealand, I have a free masterclass to get you started on how to go about doing that. Today, let's talk about how to make your life in 2024, the most amazing year yet. There is not that many things that can change your life drastically, improve yourself as a person, give you a perspective that you can't even imagine that you needed, and just give you a worldwide network like moving abroad. Let's start with some of the objections that people have about moving abroad, besides being hard and move, and I don't wanna quit my job, and it's all risky and all these things, but listen to me. Let's just talk about it at its core. Do you want to be a person that focuses on growth or do you want to be a person that just wants to be satisfied in their comfort? You cannot grow without doing hard things, without trying new things, putting yourself out there, out of your comfort zone. Growth does not happen in comfort. So let's kind of bring us back into what we actually value as a person. So if you're happy with being comfortable, this video isn't for you. If you are looking to grow and to improve in 2024, listen up. The first thing that I want you to do is think about the reasons why you don't want to move abroad. What are the reasons? And then look at the underlying value that you are placing on those reasons. So for example, a lot of people think that it's bad to move your kids around. It's bad to leave your family for a time. It is bad to leave your job and it's not gonna be good for your, your overall career and whatever. So, Listen to these values. Where did they come from? They came from society. Society gave you these values. Now, if you agree with them, you're good to go. But I challenge you to look at what the values you're agreeing to and make sure that they line up to what you actually think. In addition to values, people have a lot of fears. They have a fear of trying something new. What if I go through this huge effort? I sell my house, I quit my job, I pull my kids out of school and I go to a place and I hate it and they hate it and we're all suffering, mm, worst case scenario. First of all, I have worked with hundreds and hundreds of clients and I've never experienced this. I have had people that have gone abroad and then come home and said they didn't like it, but loved the learning that came with that. They had to know, you know, you don't wanna to get to 85 years old and have regrets because you never tried it because you were too scared. It's been 84 years. Don't make decisions out of fear. Make good, solid decisions based on what you value and what you think is important in life and what will push you forward in growth in the future. And you don't wanna do it because it seems like a lot of work and you don't wanna to have to like deal with all your stuff and sell everything. You know what? Anything that's worthwhile is a lot of work. And anybody that tells you different is trying to sell you something. Okay, so the first challenge I have for you is your values. Make sure that your life and the decisions that you're making are lined up with your actual values, not just values that society has set upon you. Because if you don't have your own values, they're given to you. You're, you're valuing something. Just let's hope that it's yours. Now, the second thing that we need to talk about is that moving abroad doesn't have to be permanent. I have this conversation, I would say weekly for sure weekly with people because they feel like this is so overwhelming. They've, they've spent years coming to this decision. Now they're in the process of getting their visa and getting a job and finding a house and selling their house and selling their stuff. And they were like, I'm never doing this again. Like this is permanent, okay? Let me tell you, do not think that. I know it can be confusing because a lot of times your visa will say permanent resident, right? But the mindset that I want you to have is that it is permanent, it's just a permanent option for you. It's an amazing option for you. It's an amazing option for your kids. If like universities are cheaper or they wanna live abroad, they can do that and you have set that up for them. But you don't need to feel like it's permanent because I think that that's what keeps most people from doing it. And is where a lot of the hesitation comes. I have a bad feeling about this. 
decide, hey, I'm gonna move abroad with my family for two years, for five years, for 10 years, but don't decide that that's for sure what you're gonna do. Just let it be. In 2024, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for this, I'm gonna try this, and I have no idea how long I'm gonna stay, and I have the option of going home and I have the option of staying here and I have the option of going back and forth as much as I want because we live in a global society. We can now work from anywhere in a lot of jobs and so it gives you options. So why don't you give yourself and your family some options? If you come over here and you hate it or you go wherever you're going and you hate it, I'm telling you that's good news, okay? It's good for you to have at least done it and knowing that information. It doesn't happen a lot because generally people are way more surprised at how much they love something <laughs> than not liking something, but it does happen. And don't be surprised if you do want to stay forever. Don't be surprised if you come someplace and it suddenly feels like you. It represents what you value. It represents a society that you feel good about living in, that it's run by people that you can get behind. Just don't have too many expectations, you guys. Stop making all of your decisions about your future, about a situation that you've never been into because it just feels better to have some understanding and to have made a decision. Don't. Just say, I'm willing to step out in growth this year and I'm going to apply and I'm going to try this and we'll see how it goes and I'm not putting any limits on it. And I'm telling you, it is the most freeing experience. So number one, figure out what you value. Number two, it doesn't need to be permanent. And number three, it forces you to deal with your stuff. Now this is a big one and I'm not just talking about the stuff in your garage and in your basement. I'm talking about your relationships with what you think about your job. It forces you to think about what you want for your kids. It forces you to deal with your actual stuff. I'm telling you, I have moved abroad twice and I have sold my stuff three times over. So the biggest problem that I have actually is that I can't remember that I don't have that anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I go in to bake something and I like I try I'm looking forever for a pan. I'm like, oh, I must have sold that on my second move. But I'm telling you, it is the best feeling. The best feeling to just kind of weed out all the crap that you don't need. Because you accumulate a lot. Even when I moved to New Zealand, I was there for two years and then I moved back. It was like I couldn't believe how much crap I had got. I came with a suitcase and now I had a whole house. And so it's not that hard to sell and it's not a process. And I'm actually a professional at this now. So if you need some assistance, just message me because <laughs> I know exactly how to do it and it's not actually stressful. So you need to be dealing with the stuff in your life and it is good for you. It forces you. And so you're already, before you've even arrived into the new country that you're going to, you've grown. You've decided on relationships, ones to keep, ones to end. You've had those hard conversations with some of the people that are closest to you because they're not gonna like that you're moving, okay? Hey, we don't do that here. There's most people don't like that you're moving. And so it forces you to really be honest about what you value and why you're doing something. And that's so good for you. It's so good for you mentally. And it's so good for you to be clear on expectations with other people because you have to live your own life. If you live under the expectation of other people, those relationships can go very poorly in the future because you have become bitter because you're doing what they want to do, not what you want to do. And I'm not saying all of your decisions need to be selfish, okay? I'm saying that your decisions need to line up with what you value and that you have a limited time here and you're not waiting till you're 65 to do it. The next thing that you will really gain from moving abroad is experiential learning. This is the most effective type of learning, being immersed in something and learning about it through being there and in process and in actual experience. It's not watching it on Netflix. It's not reading about it. It's not taking a course on it. This does not give you experiential learning. Experiential learning is so much more in depth, gives you such perspective and can really change the way that you think about things and what you value just from having that experience. And so whether you move abroad or not, I encourage you to focus on doing things that are <clears throat> experiential learning. Like even if you go to another state or you try something that's totally uncomfortable for you, like salsa dancing or some other new hobby, but experiential learning is so critical in growth and just it helps you open your mind and helps you actually, and this is one of the key benefits, is when you continue to work with others, put yourself in different situations, you have a lot more confidence. You have a lot more insight and you can handle it 
because you know you've just moved to another culture and been successful integrated into a new school and your kids were successful that is huge learning for them that is learning that they cannot get by reading a book and watching netflix or watching all the short form video so we've talked about the importance of doing what you value that it doesn't have to be permanent that it's great to have to deal with your stuff and that experiential learning is the best. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is life needs to be a little bit of an adventure, okay? Have an adventure, travel and see things. It's all up to you in the level that's comfortable for you, okay? The global network that you will attain, the lifelong friendships that you will make is like none other when you're moving abroad and you will love it and you will meet amazing people that will teach you things that you cannot learn anywhere else. So get out there this year and make a difference. Choose growth, choose opportunity. I'm here for you. Let me know how I can help. Comment below with what your adventure is gonna be this year because I wanna know.